Hi, Mr. Whitney here. I'm going to be showing you how to draw a spider in a web. This is one of my uh, favorite. I call this a go-to drawing because it's a pretty easy drawing to do in here. I've just got a page in my sketchbook. I do this with crayon or I do it with marker, uh, colored pencil, whatever we grab. Today, I just happen to grab a permanent marker or just a marker is what we're going to say. So this was the first thing I grabbed. So spider web, what's kind of nice to do is I just draw lines in my paper and they don't have to be perfect. So I take... I'm just drawing right here. I'm going to do kind of an X. And spider webs really are not that perfect. So I'm just making sure they cross in the center. And I'm just pulling the line. And as you see, it kind of got a little crazy right here. And the scheme of my sketchbook, it's upside down right now, which is totally fine. And I just go through and I divide it up as such. I don't do too many lines. You could take in this big space right here. I could close this space in if I wanted to right here. And then I'm looking here and I'm like, oh. Oh, do I want to do one more time here? This looks like it's got a lot of space in here. You get too much in there, it makes it look too busy. So I'm going to stop right there. And then I'm going to be taking, and you're just going to do a cup like this. You're going to swoop down, swoop down, and then swoop down, and swoop down like such. I like doing one whole frame. You don't have to do a whole frame or section. Then I go over to my next one, and I do swooping down, swooping down swooping down. Some people, and I'll, I get the mood sometimes like this, I'll just go swoop, swoop, take it all the way around, swoop, and swoop down like this, and connect it through. If you're listening closely, you'll hear Cooper snoring in the background because she's getting bored with me drawing here today. All right, so I'm just going to take in this swoopy motion and take, and if you notice, as I just don't think about it, my swoops look a lot better. And we start getting that spider web uh, going. Like, I almost said like Spider-Man. Um, how about like a spider or a real thing here? So we go through my swoopy motion. I'm going to go all the way around again. See, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. I'm just connecting. And I got to make sure that I connect just back over here. So, oops, there we go. And, oops, down here. Oops, down, not down there. Down right there. Connect it through. And you could work backwards if you wanted, if you're left-handed or just feeling like it. Working backwards, I don't do that that often. Take it from a curve right here. What I like about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. You can have fun with it. And if you look at spider webs, they're kind of symmetrical, and they don't have to be perfect. I got lost in my drawing there. I realized I didn't have on the screen. So swoop, I can take and connect. And then these ones are kind of fun where they go off the page. I really enjoy that. So swooping in, and then I'm going to just go through. So taking that motion and connecting them and going back, I usually find it easier to turn, and I kind of go with this lowered, lowered swoop in here. And then these ones are my favorite when it gets down to here, so you'll see I'm like, oh, i got to fill these ones in. Swooping motion. And then right here, I'm like, oh, the web goes off the page. And then I go right back over here, and I like this one. I can get the webs. I like it when the web goes off the page. I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, Zen Tangles here in the coming months. And um, they, this is definitely your first introduction to Zen Tangles. So if you like doing this, you're right on track for one to a Zen Tangle. So I got the spider web. And then I need something to go on the spider web. The spider web. I'm going to think here, and what would go on a spider web? Not Spider Man, but how about instead I put a spider? Put a spider. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to take and I just draw a circle. Wherever I drew that circle, I'm committing to it. So I'm just going to, that's the body. Notice I'm just taking and I'm coloring that in. There's the body. And then I need another circle. And do I want to face it? This looks kind of funny right through here, but I'm going to just put, I want to face it right up here. There we go. The next part. And then they've got these little eyes that go on, so I'm going to do it. And then arachnids, they have eight legs. So I'm going to take one here, one here. Whatever I do on one side, I'm going to commit to and draw these legs. So I'm going to get up these legs. They're going to go like this. And then this leg is going to go here like this and down in as we go along. And he looks pretty dark in here. So something I'm looking at with this drawing and using the marker, Wilbur, which if I would have used a Crayola marker or using crayon, 
it wouldn't get so dark. So my spider, as you can see, is getting kind of lost in that. So that it does make a difference in what kind of medium you choose for your drawing. I'm going to pause this for a second, and then um, you don't have to pause the video if you don't want to. And then I'm going to show you what difference would be doing crayon. Okay, I've got my crayon here. I'm going to just flip to the next page here. I've got a little bleed through. It's always nice when you got bleed through. I'm going to use the doll end of the crayon or the flat end. And again, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to draw my lines down real quick here and such. Use the doll end for the lines all the way through. And this time, oops, through and take and connect. So I've got those. And then I'm going to go through and I am going to draw the swoops in like such. And I'm going to pause the video for one moment here until I get this all in here. So you're going to watch. It's going to flash and be done. And ta-da, it's done. So then I'm going to take, I'm going to draw my spider in here. And I'm using now the doll side of the crayon, drawing the body in, head area, putting these little parts out on it. And then I'm getting the arachnid legs. And I want you to see that I'm really pressing down to make the body stand out. So in contrast to the first drawing I did, spider really ends up sticking out like this. And what's fun about this drawing is you can go back through and I right now, I'm like, oh, I want to try it with color pencil. I want to try it like this. So spider goes through. I'm like, oh, I kind of got a sheen on the body there. Um, I could go through and I'm going to have a little fun here. I'm going to put a little fly in here. Here. He's going to be like, help me. So that's my little fly I'm going to do. I'm going to body right in here. So he's got something he's going to go after that makes it a little gruesome. So that's to do in the spider web. No right or wrong way of doing it. Have fun. Try out different mediums. I uh, really want to grab the black sketchbook here and I've got the new pins, uh, new pin, white pin to do it with. But um, I might end up doing that. And if I do, I will post a picture in the comments. Uh, please share with your teachers. We love seeing it. I enjoy when I get stopped by your teacher to show me stuff you shared with them and go back and forth. So please enjoy this. Have fun with it.